Good Tuesday evening to you. Thanks for joining us for the news at 11. I'm Dan Shadwell. And I'm Karina Corral. Over the weekend, we reported that an Atascadero teen was killed in a car crash. 17-year-old Shelby Sudbrink. She was co-captain of the Templeton High basketball team, and today the Eagles played their first game without her. KSBY sports reporter Derek Opino was there and joins us now live from the gym. Derek? Yeah, Karina, Dan, I got to tell you, it was a very emotional scene here. And I'm actually told this was the highest attended game of the year. The crowd, the stands, they were all packed. There were people standing around the gym. But it just goes to show you how much this community wanted to support this Temple ba T Templeton basketball team as they played their first game of the year without Shelby. Let's go ahead and show you how it went. It was clear from the get-go that Shelby was at the basketball game in spirit. Her teammates wore blue shirts with their number 12 on the back, and the community supported the team by also wearing blue as they watched the Lady Eagles get ready to play in the biggest game of their lives. There's no playbook for this. You know, we, we got together as a team last night. We just, you know, tragic accidents. We just try to focus on the positive and positive memories of Shelby and go forward. The parents acknowledged the crowd at halftime. The cheerleaders performed a special tribute, but the biggest honor the team provided for Shelby came in the opening minutes. The Eagles made sure that their captain would be a starter. They began the game with only four players, the fifth spot occupied by Shelby. We just wanted to, you know, feel her again, you know, just have her spirit with us on the court, four people and her. It was just, it was for her. She's been a starter since her junior season. She was one of our captains. That was a team's idea to come up with that. Um, I, I was real proud of them for, for wanting to do that. Perhaps the most emotional moment of the game happened for Shelby's co-captain, Annie Elterman. She hit the first shot of the game, then quickly pointed to the sky thanking Shelby for the assist. It meant a lot. You know, I said it during this game, like the beginning of this game, I was like, I'm going to shoot this shot for her and I'm going to point to Sky because that's what she'd want. It's, you know, I knew she was looking down, watching me shoot that. So I was like, you know, this is for you. I'm going to point to you, you know, but yeah, for and it was, it's like if she was out there, she'd do the exact same thing. She'd shoot that first shot and she'd drain it. So I wanted to do that for her. In the end, the Eagles came away with the win over Santa Maria High, but in the bigger picture, no one could say anyone lost on a night like this. Now, guys, you really got to give a lot of credit to Santa Maria High. They brought flowers for the game to give to the players as their way of paying tribute to Shelby. Her little sister, Kylie, was an honorary team captain for this game. She wore the jersey with number 12 on it, and she even attended the captain's meeting before the game. So we got to give credit to the Templeton Eagles, to Santa Marie High, and everyone in this community for coming out to support. As for the actual game itself, we'll have highlights during sports later on, but until then, that's going to be it for me. Live and local in Templeton, Derek Opina, KSBY News. All right, Derek, thank you for that. A beautiful way to pay tribute to her and some courageous ladies to be able to get out there and play like that. The Sudbrink family is still taking donations for Shelby's Memorial Scholarship. If you would like to contribute, you can find more information on our website, KSBY.com.